So Tyler, can you talk a little bit about the limitations of AD? Because I think, you know, most people are in the boat where they've got it and they really can't live without it yet. But what are the limitations? I know that AD was, you know, introduced more than 20 years ago. It had didn't have the cloud in mind at all when it was born and it kind of doesn't still. And so can you talk a little bit about the the challenges that people with AD face and then we'll get into a little later how we can overcome those. Yeah, absolutely. I think that Active Directory is a great service but isn't necessarily equipped for the situation that we find ourselves in where people are trying to leverage the technology that makes most sense for them, which might not always be Microsoft services. So you run into a challenge of integrating maybe your Mac or your Linux devices with AD. That's pretty difficult without a, a third party solution. You also run into challenges for facilitating remote work uh, or even just a global expansion. So if you're opening up an office in the APAC region, but your headquarters is here in the United States, you're kind of confronted with this problem of, do I set up another Active Directory domain all across the world and how am I supposed to network it in? So it's a, it is a multiplicative problem. The deeper that you go with Active Directory, the more Active Directory that you need. And it's not going to necessarily allow people to make the choices that make most sense for their business. So those are broad brushstrokes challenges, but it's really, <laughs> you want to get rid of this CapEx uh, in all of the server infrastructure itself. You don't want to be maintaining all of these servers and you might not want to just go all in with a Microsoft suite of products. And something like Jump Cloud allows you to make the right choices for your business being very vendor neutral or, or vendor agnostic. Yeah, I, I think that there's a temptation on a lot of people's, in a lot of people's minds that, you know, I've got AD, I can't get rid of it. And so I am locked into Microsoft for my future, meaning that, you know, Azure is the only way they can go to the cloud, which, you know, isn't true. You know, that that's what we're here for is to help kind of open the world and allow people to go to the cloud in the way that they want you know if they want to use google if they want to use amazon whatever you know that they can do that what's best for them not necessarily what's best for the decision they made 20 years ago when they put active directory in please subscribe and check out more content from us 